Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming to you with what? Stock? Stock and, and barrel. St stock and barrel. A Canadian single malt whiskey. It almost sounds like it should be some like competitor for our Kia. Stock, stock and barrel. <laughs> I don't know why. It just screams well, to me. Just don't confuse it with a leather manufacturer. What? What are you talking about? It's got never... two names. Stock and barrel. You confused I'm one like, They made my coat. You yeah, I'm trying to remember <laughs> what they were called. Do you remember? Kendall and Hyde. Kendall and Hyde, and what was the other one? Uh, Satchel and Page. Damn, you are good. See? Satchel, Satchel and Page, yeah. <laughs> Satchel and, and Page you, did the jacket. Kendall up. and Hyde did the belt and the bag that I got coming. Yep. Good job. So oh, this like is... steel trap. This is Snatch and Bottom. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. No, you just made it dirty. No, come on. Everybody out there was like, did he say Snatch I just snatched bottom? your glass. <laughs> snatch and... You bet. Bottoms up. Just that. Just drink. Right. Stock and barrel. <laughs> All right. Stock and barrel is Canadian. It is a Canadian. And Stillwater Distillery. From the Stillwater Distillery. But and they also make, uh, and we have it to review as well, Stillwater so Canadian whiskey. But this is stock and barrel. And how is this different, though? This is where it amazed me. Single malt. It's a single malt. That's right. And it's a cask strength. I believe single malt, 16. or at the very least, very high, 60.8 yeah. ABV. Yep. For those that want to know, it's, uh, first of all, it's hard to read with the barrel. It's cask 15, bottle number 169 written on here, and we'll include a photo that shows what we are talking about. So, let me pour some of this out while you're going on now. So you this said is that Canadian. Was, you said that was cask 15? It's yeah. 60 point, yeah, cast okay. 15 by yeah, the one Yeah, it appears to be handwritten. Yeah, uh, Not it is. from a machine. Mm -mm. Uh, cask number 15 and bottle 169. If that's from a machine, it's smarter than that new so, IBM computer that like won Jeopardy. What's that called? Not quite as much as you not got. Not quite as much? Okay. A little bit more. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that's there we good. go. Is that good? And it's not because I don't like it. Because you're drinking responsibly. This is, quite frankly, oh, yep. delicious. It smells great. I jumped right to my, my notes. notes. won't stay up. Hmm. Keeps fading out. You have to turn off your uh, auto lock. Okay, on the nose, to me, heavy malt and lemongrass was huh. immediately apparent. What'd you get? Piping hot rye bread, like it just came out of the oven. And this is the first time, and, and maybe I'm crazy, but I put Christmas spice tea. There's a tea that my wife always gets around Christmas. And she'll let it sit there and kind of steep a little bit. And then it just kind of fills the whole house. And I get little hints of that. And there's so many things in that, I can't tell you where it comes from. Mm, like there's almost a mint. I do see what you're saying with the uh, lemongrass, but I... Mm -hmm. It's got a great nose. Uh, there's a little bit of a floral note that I got. Now, Almond. See, it must be the malt, because I know it's a single malt. and Well, single malt means it came from one distillery, so it's not a blend. Quote me. It came from one, but it means it's using malted barley. Yeah, it right. could be malted barley as well. But it's single well, malt. Single malt is water, barrel, and barley. Bingo, that's it. Mm. And yes, it's from one distillery. It's not a blended. Woo! Mmm, delicious. Mm. Very strong, comes up through your nose, neat. I'm going right for a little bit of water. We've already tasted this. We've taken our notes. Going to add a little dash of water. Mm. Alright, here's my tasting note. Neat. First of all, really gets your attention. Slides into the mouth like warm, light syrup. Coated under the upper lip and gum. I can feel it. The way it just comes in. Sometimes I've gotten my notes because I came back to this multiple times. Sometimes it stings the tongue and I figured out what this was because other times it didn't. When I took it neat, I made sure I held a little extra saliva in to bring that ABV down naturally in my mouth. And and I did that multiple times. Yes, I know, holding the saliva in your mouth, but you're bringing that ABV down naturally as it comes in. 
and it's taking down some of that alcohol cut because I really love this neat and you're right I need to adjust my saber somebody must have got on here or something because it's fading out in seconds going for another splash this is uh, full of to me on the on the palate full of lemongrass that malt comes out it's delicious there's nothing Canadian about it <laughs> And I don't mean that badly. That sounds bad. It does. That but what I mean, so, there's tons of Canadian Stillwater what, Distillery. What I, what I mean by that is your standard Canadian whiskey, or at least what we've tried, um, going into well, I won't go into which ones, but I'm you get a very with well, hold on with okay. Canadians, you get a very mild, usually a very smooth uh, whiskey, nothing real. Um, punch you in the face with it with most okay now there are some that are good <clears throat> no I'm, I'm not good different your um, sister's nice if she wasn't so ugly <laughs> um anyway canadian whiskeys are generally smooth there's a little bit of maple to them and sometimes and most of them are blends and some are heavier with a rye content okay that's what I mean This by this. There does not... It's blind tasting. I would never guess this was a Canadian whiskey. Would you? <laughs> Seriously. It's a very unique expression. You're laughing. You think I'm making fun of Canadian whiskey. I, I'm no, not making no, fun of I Canadian just, whiskey. I'm just telling you, this is the best Canadian whiskey I've ever had. I just... And it's head and shoulders above any other that I've had. Okay. Your sister's got a great personality, is all I'm saying. It's phenomenal. Part of it is it's got that high ABV. But let's come back on final thoughts after we cover, because with a touch of water, it changes for me. I get on it the is. nose, yeah. On the nose, when I add in a touch of water, I get this very pleasant, warm, rising dough. And it brought me back in time. Mom, around Christmas, used to make homemade cinnamon rolls by the multiple dozen. And she would, she would get her bread all done or the dough and let it rise on top of the oven in these huge bowls and then beat it back down and let it rise again and then she'd roll it out. And when you would come in the house and the, 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 the cinnamon rolls were baking and the other doughs rising, and it was this. And I got that after I put the touch of water in there. And so the touch of water really brought that out. It also, if I can go to my notes, um, a touch of water, I got like a, a hard candied caramel kind of apple that was going on in there. Soft, feathery, trailing, and then a cream soda vanilla, yet it still held its spark. Now, I even came back later and brought it way down. I mean, I added more water than I normally would when I'm drinking at any point in time just to try to pull some more of those flavors out. And I am with you on the complexity. Now, I've been very, very surprised, and this has been in the Whiskey Advocate and everything else. Canadian whiskey is blossoming and exploding and throwing left curves at you and right hooks and, it's and gonna, uppercuts. And it's because of this one right here yeah it's phenomenal i'm with you i mean there's there's I don't, I don't know if i want to say experimentation but this is top notch i like a lot of canadian whiskeys and and i love this um it's got a dry finish water to me brings out a very slight black pepper I don't get any of the rye or the uh, the bread that you're getting. Um, there's a little bit of honey and vanilla. Mm. Yeah, that cream, honey cream, cream soda. Mm. Mm. Now let me that now blind. If you were in a blind tasting, would you peg this as a Canadian whiskey? <sighs> Probably not. No. You wouldn't. No, this one, um, this one really surprised me. Um, it was unexpected and extremely pleasant. First of all, I gotta admit, 
I was just eyeballing the bottle. And I was like, whoa, 60.8% and it's a single malt whiskey. So I was like, right off the bat, we're looking at something different. So it was the first one that I went, when I was looking at multiple whiskeys that, that we had available to test, it's the one I wanted to try first. It was beckoning. And, uh, and I thought, well, you know, here we go. Something totally different. I will different. say there is some writing on the back of the bottle, but I can't tell what it is <laughs> yeah. because it's, it's so small print and it's black and it blends well, here's the with trick. the whiskey and the bottle. Here's the I trick to no reading idea. it. You can't read it until you do exactly what it. you're doing. Until yeah. you get the liquid out of the bottle, you can't read this. And it's all just color. I took like a minute and I had to break out my little glasses and everything. And I was like, wow, I'm old. Yeah. And then it's in there French. You go. It's got to be empty. Yeah. yeah, it's got to be empty. And then you can read it great. So there's the knock on it. You can't read the color story on the back when the bottle's full. Which means you got to drink it down a little bit, which is not so bad. It's not such yeah, a bad true. punishment. It's like a that's teaser. True. It's like a secret message. So, now, I'll, did I'll, you go learn anything else about the Stillwater Distillery? No. Okay, nor did I. I I'll, I'll stand mm -hmm. by. This is my, my favorite Canadian whiskey by far. Now, you did tell me, though, that uh, Whiskey it, Lassie had done a periscope where the Stillwater Distillery came up. I did not see that. Mm -hmm. and well, she was talking about Stillwater Distillery. Right. A while back. Didn't she say it's one of her favorites? No, she was at, someone asked her, They um, and I can't remember what she said. Um, she got asked what her favorite Canadian whiskey was, and they were talking back and forth, and um, she brought up Stillwater, mm. the Stillwater Distillery. Now there's still, I like Canadian whiskeys, don't get me wrong. And the uh, uh, Crown Royal Hand Select Barrel to me is very good. It stands out. Um, that was one of your. That was probably I your think, favorite before this, right? Yeah. Um, Northern Harvest Rye. Lot Forty is good. You're a bandwagon rye. jumper. You jumped on the Northern Harvest Rye bandwagon. No, with you it. did. Before it was famous. <laughs> <laughs> um, where was I going? Oh, the the Hand Select Barrel. It's a little bit fuller. It's a little bit higher in its ABV. The Crown Royal, you're saying? Uh, yes. Yeah. Now, I think, that, now, some Canadians, kind of like bourbons, you kind of have, a, there's a lot of bourbons that are kind of, they don't stand out from the crowd. You get that standard, mm. you know, vanilla, caramel, toffee notes from. I call it bourbon flavor. Corn alcohol. <laughs> well, there's some Canadian whiskeys that are in that same, you know, they're just a mild, smooth, Nothing outstanding group grouping of Canadian whiskeys. And then there's a few that stand out from the crowd. This one, just to me, distances itself from the others. But I wouldn't peg it as a Canadian. Now, score. What do you got? 93, if I remember right. Yep, 93. Loved it. I know, you're shocked. You're, no, you're splitting mine because I've got two scores. But I'm going with the lower one. You keep coming in with these weird... First of all, explain when, how you're doing two scrolls. You're doing that's the what, slash. Are you doing you. a 9.5? No. 9. no. For a Canadian whiskey, oh, comparing God. this to other Canadian whiskeys, it's a 95. <laughs> but it's so much like a scotch, I had, to, I had to pare it down. And I thought, okay, if I was grouping this with other whiskeys, with other scotches, as a Canadian, it really stands out. Mm. When I God, thought of it with other stage. scotches... World Nine, stage. 91. That's still a real good That's score. That's still, really still a really good score. It's good whiskey. Um, and I think, I mean, what do you think? Go with a Canadian, to compare it to Canadian whiskeys or compare it on the stage? A single malt whiskey. You know, this is where I'm weird. And I come in under, I get criticized every once in a while. Um, I'm pretty much telling you just when I'm experiencing this, because this isn't the first time we've tasted it. I sat down with this for an hour mm -hmm. and I, I tried it neat. I then did it neat again. I did that whole saliva thing, which sounds gross. <laughs> then I added touch of water and I'm nosing and I'm sipping and I'm, I'm putting my notes in and then more water, nosing, sipping, and then Way too much water. Way, way more water than you'd ever probably bring it down to like almost 20, 25% ABV. Yeah. 
I know, I know, yeah. I know. I did that with just a touch, and I tried it there just to see if I'm sure. picking anything else yeah. up. Sometimes and you can get that's not notes. where I would, yeah, it's not where I would drink it, but I wanted to try it that way. And then I scored it in '93. Impressed me through all those ranges. So I mean, you're between. So I don't. Yeah, I'm not throwing but this in what, like what, against other Canadians or against. Well, that's what I did scotch. at first because I sat down. And I was so floored by it and the flavor profile. It was, it was a Canadian. I'm like, man, this is really good. It's delicious. '95. And then I'm thinking, as I'm drinking, I'm thinking, man, there's just so much like it that's so similar to a Scotch and stuff. And I'm thinking, okay, well, if this, if I was drinking this as a Scotch, comparing it in those flavor profiles where's it at mm. Mm. i came up with the 91 which is still a really good score it's, and i debated go with it score. with it against can it, what do you i mean can you see that do you think now that's kind of what i'm saying is is when i'm giving you my my tasting notes it's it's in the moment of the time that i'm spending mm. with this um first of all quite honestly i i don't think i'd be good enough to say wow how does this you know, here's my overall score, and then this is how it would break down against other Canadians. I don't, I don't know if I'm at that skill level. So I just take it in that moment. I kind of find a peaceful with moment. <laughs> yeah, with a little bit of saliva, and I try different things, and and I'm just exploring the spirit, and then, and then I will, I will be consistent, and hey, this is where it is with me, and. Uh, 93 for me, I, someone, else, someone will go back and watch your other videos, but I don't, 93 is at the top That's tier high. where I'm scoring. Cause I'm, I think I'm a harder scorer. Too. I'm a little oh, yeah. tough. Yeah. So, um, love it. Love it. If you can get a hold of this, try it. Um, just that, that cask strength feel is there. I love, again, I don't know, it doesn't say cask strength, but at 60.8% ABV, it allows me to play with the water I'm adding to it and kind of say, how about this? Try this. Where do I want to experience this? <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro.